Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? This is a big one. This is Indiana Jones had the Holy Grail. The Albans have this. <laughs> this is for all travelers and things like that. This is one of the biggest things that you can come across. We are in Darwin, Minnesota and we are at the largest ball of twine in Minnesota. We, it's the largest ball of twine created, by, created one man. by one man. There is a larger ball of twine. It's in Kansas, but we consider that cheating because they have a festival every year where they add to it. So every year it gets bigger. This was made by one man and we are going to see the largest ball of twine, the official one made by one man. So let's go. You ready? The one son. By Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic. That's right. We're here at the biggest ball of twine. In Minnesota! <laughs> so yes, here we are. The world's largest, by one man, twine ball. Constructed by Francis A. Johnson from 1950 to 1979. The weight is 17,400 pounds. The circumference, circumference approximately 40 feet. This was moved from Johnson's home east of Darwin on Highway 12 to this site on June 25th, 1991. And right here at the Pagoda <laughs> is the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. So let's go right up here. Put the camera to the glass. And there it is in all of its awesomeness and glory. The largest ball of twine built by one man. They have a Pictorial Museum Souvenirs. It says closed. Oh, oh, darn it. But if we take this screw off and go this way, <laughs> it'll be open. No. So Twine visitors, please sign the guest book. So we're going to sign that guest book. Now, of course, Weird Al Yankovic made a song about the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. And I just want you to know, they have named this alley over here, Weird Alley. <laughs> and all of their road signs have the ball of twine right there. But I just thought that was very clever, Weird Alley. And there is a kitty cat on the trampoline over there. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. And of course, there is no little library that Becky and Vivian can pass up. <laughs> We're just looking. You know, you could take a really good book from this one, and we can bring it all the way from Darwin, Minnesota to... I bought a VHS tape of When Harry Met Sally. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. <laughs> so I believe this was like the original old either church or school bell. Oh, they also have a VHS tape of Born Yesterday. Born Yesterday. Look at that. That's awesome. So let's see what this uh, story here. The independent school district number 42 the school bell tower and the bell were preserved for the community in 1983 when the school was taken down so this is the actual bell tower and bell that was in that that was in that school well that's pretty cool So sadly, we can't get in to buy ourselves a t-shirt or souvenir and uh, 
And I won't lie to you folks, we were here once before, many years ago when the kids were younger. And uh, they, uh, we, we have t-shirts and, and sweatshirts and Becky even bought a some uh, earrings. Uh, they're little tiny balls of twine. But, uh, but yeah, but there it sits right there. The Holy Grail of of travelers and roadside attractions. The largest ball of twine. That is just amazing. Okay, so it wasn't a super long vlog today. It would have been a little longer if the museum and the and the uh, gift shop was open, but we made it to the world's largest ball of twine built by one man. The biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. This probably won't show up, but the moon looks so cool. And yeah, you can't even really see it. But I said it looks like the Death Star over Endor. That's how I nerd, much of a nerd I am, but it looks cool. So what did everybody think of the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota? It's big. It's the, Very cool. That's right. The world's biggest. You know what the, uh, built by one man. Built and, by one and man. And you know what the irony is? You know what the definition of irony is? Do you remember? The literal meaning being the exact opposite of the... So, yeah. 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 But the figurative, irony... The figurative meaning being the exact opposite of the literal meaning. There you go. The uh, the irony of the b largest ball of, twi uh, of twine built by one man. This also killed him. He died of lung cancer because his lungs were filled with twine dust. <laughs> that Isn't, sucks. It, doesn't that suck? I guess he might. He must have died doing what he loved. He did. He did. It was his hobby, and uh, but yeah, yeah, he died doing doing his hobby and what he loves. How about that? Just like I'll die doing this vlog, probably. Because we'll probably kill you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, everybody, if you uh, like what you see, as always, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Keep it safe. Keep it sexy. And then we'll see you guys next time on... For the heck of the album. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone.